Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is the continuation of my RPG Maker series as I play through what I have already made. So let's dive in and continue playing the game. All right. So let's run the game. Uh, let's. There we go. We'll pick up where we saved outside of Elden Vale. We're looking for music, we're looking for screen tint, which shouldn't actually be that hard to see. Uh, we're looking for events that work. Uh, last time I split the map into two parts, the before the rescue and the after the rescue. So, we'll see more or less. I think we'll move on to the troop outpost and see how that dungeon goes. Whether everything works there. All right. Okay, so far so good. No. All right, it took us to... Took us to the wrong one. But that's probably my fault. Yeah, I mean, I know it's definitely my fault. Let me see here. If clear out is off, transfer player there, else transfer player there. So, I need, I need clear out to start as off. That's the problem. Okay. I got it. Simple enough to fix. All right. I think I have fixed the issue. I'll go over it as we bring it up. Uh, or as we encounter it, I suppose. All right, so the big thing here is that I'm pretty sure someone told me way back when I was busy building it that switches start out by default as on, which means that I have to approach them uh, somewhat counterintuitively. If I want something to trigger with a switch, I have to turn the switch off, which means I had to change if clear out is off then they go to the rescue map if clear out is on they stay here which means i need to rename the trigger which is fine i also need to go to, to the troop outpost go to the boss and change the switch from turning on when you defeat him to turning off when you defeat him which is also fine all right so let's look around and make sure that this map works the way I want it to, since I split it. Okay. Okay. And now over here. Good. I removed the curtain that was right here. Because I built the whole map, you might as well be able to explore it. I'm thinking about putting some items back here that you can take, but I haven't added them in yet. Uh, also, I haven't added them in because it kind of feels like stealing, and that's not something I think my characters would, these characters would do. But, you know, it's also a game, and the player kind of expects if they can walk around the map, then there's things they can interact with. So, at the very least, I should put things that they can interact with. All right, are you going to turn towards me? Yes. Good. You shouldn't be here. If the soldiers catch you, they'll take it out on the rest of us. What soldiers? Where is everyone? Um, soldiers arrived by ship last week at the docks of the north. And... And before we could blink, they took most of the village to the old outpost. Wow, that's a long sentence. Maybe I need to break that up. They told me I could stay as long as... As long as I serve their needs, so I keep the shop open. But I really can't serve you. I don't want to join the others in that dreadful place. I wonder if I should change daughter. I was going for something like descendant, but maybe I should change something from daughter. Yeah, there's no need to fear the soldiers. We can deal with them. We'll bring the other villagers home. You have our word. So, as I mentioned last episode... Uh, I think it was last episode, but the last two blur together in some ways. These characters are here for a very specific reason, and they have a mission, and they have a tight time schedule to keep, 
So just offering to rescue people is kind of outside of their goals, which means that they need to be convinced to go rescue these people. So I need to change this last bit of the dialogue, which I will get to eventually, but I'll just add it to my list. Anyways. So the innkeeper, it sh they should have a conversation with him. So it really depends on which one you go to first. If you go to the innkeeper or you go to the shop. Of course you're going to go to the shop. Any self-respecting RPG player would go to the shop first. But there needs to be a conversation with either of them that gets the same result to the player. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, okay. Well, shoot. So, <laughs> funny story that. Um, I did not delete this. Which just, uh, yeah. Alright. Well, shoot. That was, yeah, clear of it. Oh, I might as well just delete, yep, yeah, discard changes. Yeah, I might as well just delete this. I mean, it's on the... It's on the rescue thing still, and that needs to be moved because that's not where it's supposed to go, but I got caught there. All right. Um, did I delete? Yes. Okay. So, and this didn't show up. Uh, it should show up, actually. It should be there. Hmm. Okay. Let's try that again. Maybe I overlooked it. Maybe I was so hyper-focused on talking that my brain didn't pick up that there was a statue there. Alright. There does need to be... It just occurred to me. There does need to be some kind of blockage here. Something to stop the player from just going in and doing their thing. They should go to the village first. But if they come over here, I need some way to stop them from coming in here. Yeah, because otherwise they just go straight into this. Yeah, all right. Add that to the list too. Uh, the ship, they won't be able to... I, they shouldn't be able to interact with the ship until after... Yeah, all right. They won't be able to interact with the ship just yet. Actually... No, no. I'll I'll cover that when we get to that part of the game. Um, let's talk to them. Ah, the statue was there. Good. Okay, let's... Fingers crossed this works the way I hoped. Visitors, you shouldn't be here. If the soldiers see you... So he basically says the same thing the shopkeeper says. In fact, if I was a lazier man, I might just copy-paste the exact same conversation. But... That might just be a little too lazy. Please calm down, we can help. That should be two separate sentences. Tell us what happened here. Where is everyone? It was the soldiers that came and took everyone away. Only the shopkeeper and I were spared. Now, that might seem weird that he says the shopkeep, but it's more for the player letting them know, Oh, there's a shopkeeper who's still avail uh, available. Okay, let's go talk to them. If you came here first. Why would they do such a thing? If the military intends to occupy this land, it is a good way to ensure cooperation. It keeps the remaining civilians in line. Please, please, save my Marsha and my friends. I'm guessing everyone includes someone who can point us to our goal. Then our path is clear. We must go to this outpost and rescue the people from this... I think, yeah, I think I'll change their captivity to something else. Uh, that just, I don't know, that just strikes me as not as good as it could be. Oh, bless you, strangers. If you, keep the two, if you need to rest, the least I can do is find a way to hide you. Okay. So hopefully I removed all the triggers here. Good. All right. I'm thinking I'll add some soldiers back here. But then I have to explain why they don't immediately arrest you or attack you if you walk back there and try to talk to them. 
Uh, I guess I could have some comedic thing like uh, them sleeping or having just eaten and they're so full or drunk. But uh, yeah, there had there would have to be a reason why they don't immediately throw you in the uh, paddy wagon and take you away. You want to spend the night? I don't know. I suppose it's worth the risk. I just hope none of you snore. Yeah, so that fade out and fade in didn't last nearly as long as the music, which uh, is a problem. But you don't get charged for the first time. That's why I added this little... What is this? Uh, cloth? Wall? Thing? With the idea that he sticks you back there. Um, it will be removed when you go to the rescue map. Okay, good. That didn't trigger. Alright. So, now we have a goal. Fantastic. Good. Alright. Just so long as the tint doesn't follow us in... It does. Alright. So, I was toying with the idea that this room is darker, or this dungeon, I guess, is darker. Uh, I would change the tint from here to here to be like it's after sunset. I just haven't done it yet. Alright, so let how strong are these guys? Yeah, let's do Soldier B. Get rid of the mage first. The most dangerous. Spark on Soldier B. Okay. Do that again. I, I could probably save some MP. Okay. All right. I want to make sure all of these little triggers work. Ah, good. He did show up. Fantastic. All right. Let's do the archer. And we'll hit the mage in the back. Most dangerous. And then the archer again. So one thing I'm noticing in the early stages of the game is that TP doesn't accumulate so fast. Now, I wanted to use TP because it's part of the RPG Maker software. Um, but I've been struggling with what to make TP with. Uh, what uh, abilities, what kind of abilities can use TP? I was going with the heavy hitting, super strong ultra-powerful, kind of unfair. Ooh. Mm, let's hold off on that for this battle. Kind of unfair abilities using TP. But, I'm thinking with how slow it accumulates that uh, abilities that benefit the player in longer fights should be should be ones that use TP. Which makes me think that uh, later levels should be start getting access to TP. Uh, things that maybe duplicate another ability's abilities without, uh, but, but use TP, so they're stronger, harder hitting, or react faster. It's still a work in progress, uh, but I do want to use TP. I think having it there as an option is better than limiting myself to just magic. Or MP. Whatever. Just MP. How did you get back here? Okay. Alright. She's only got the heals and the flare. Okay. Let's hit the foot soldiers. Double strike. Eye gouge. I want to make sure this blind actually blinds the target. 
What about you? Double strike. I want to make sure this does what... Oh! That's right, that's right. Double strike just hits two random opponents. Or should just hit two random opponents. And Matt up. Okay. Oh, he's blinded. Good. It did work. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, he attacks four times, not two times. Like I wanted him to. That's a problem. It's probably the way I just wrote it up in the action. That's fine. Let's, uh... Well, I need to see if the heal works on Elizabeth the way it's supposed to. Uh, let's... Well, if Double Strike didn't work the right way for Gilgamesh, it's not going to work the right way for her. Let's, uh... Let's attack the Foot Soldier. Attack the Foot Soldier. And then... Let's flame the Sergeant. So... I dropped the da- No, not the damage. I dropped the MP cost of all the early abilities because I sorely overestimated how much MP they were going to have by level 5. I did not do the math correctly. I did not anticipate how many fights they were going to get into just crossing the mountains. So I dropped that but I didn't drop how much Matt was going to cost, or Matt up. That might be something that I switch over to TP. Maybe status increases or buffs or whatever for the party use TP rather than MP. Again, it's still a work in progress. Still trying to weed out or suss out what I'm going to do. Gilgamesh needs to be healed. That was a strong hit from the sergeant. Uh, I know it doesn't work properly, but we're going to double strike again. So, yeah, what I, what I mean by that is Matt up one probably needs to be a lot cheaper. Or use TP. Uh, let's see. Let's spark him. Okay. Ooh, right, a piece of equipment. I forget how to get in there. Uh, enter? No. I? No. Space? No. Right click. Okay. Equipment? Who wants the shielding amulet? Maybe Solomon? If he doesn't already have an accessory? I think he does already have an accessory. Yeah, he already has. A novice's best friend. His defense goes up, his magic defense... Yeah, alright, we'll give it to him. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save. There we go. Alright. There was another chest over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually get a chance to heal... Gilgamesh. All right, let's uh, let's eye gouge again, and then why not? I mean, oh well, because he doesn't have enough MP for it. Okay, magic. We'll do spark. Ah, oh, I didn't get blinded. He didn't get blinded at that time. What a shame. Okay, maybe I will... Let's attack the archer. Do I have enough magic for... I'm gonna go back to Elizabeth. Heal... Solomon? Yeah. Attack the archer, attack the foot soldier. I got enough magic, I think. There's nobody here who can... Oh, there's nobody here who can rest them up. They'd have to, they'd have to leave and rest. But they'd need a, a tent or a rest item in order to recover. Or go back to town. Yeah. I... 
I don't remember if I have... Well, we'll, we'll heal up Gilgamesh. I don't remember if I gave them the ability... Yeah, we'll just attack. Save our MP. If I gave them the ability to shop before they rescue them, I thought I did. Just a more limited capacity or, or a more limited inventory. But... Maybe you have to talk to her twice, but there's no indication of that. So maybe what I need to do is change the dialogue at the shopkeeper to indicate that she will sell to you, just it's not her full inventory. It's whatever she can spare. Iron helmet, that's only... Yeah, okay. That's only what he can wear. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think Joan can do it. Yeah, uh, and if Joan can't do it, the other two can't. But, uh, I mean, really, Gilgamesh shouldn't have the helmet at this point in the game anyways. Hmm, that door, that didn't work quite right. Alright, well, whatever. Let's see. Now he'll get Gilgamesh. And we'll... Ooh. Yeah, I gouge is way too expensive. Uh, let's double strike. Because, yeah, I'm a big filthy cheater. Yeah, that's way too much. That's way too much. There will be ability an ability to, that does that, but uh, not this early in the game. I'm kind of... I'm kind of happy with uh, the MP cost of the abilities that are actually working the way I want. With the exception of Eye Gouge, that's too expensive. But Gilgamesh needs more MP at this level. I'm also... I'm also sort of eh, adequately happy with how much damage everything is doing and taking. I think that's good so far. Okay. That defensive ability didn't really help him all that much. Alright. I think the big problem I have right now is that the heal isn't scaling with uh, the high HP numbers. That shouldn't be a problem uh, because right now only Elizabeth is healing. If... We go back to Elden Vale, the map before the rescue. The shopkeep should be selling the baseline early level potions that heal. Everybody should have access to some healing, and they should be able to keep up with the damage that output that's going on here. And Elizabeth won't have to be relegated to a heal bot. Okay. Okay. I think she already has... Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's head back to town because we are hurting a little bit. Wait a minute. Okay. Something weird went on there. Let's see if we can't rest... Interesting. Okay. Which map am I on? Hold on. Where did he go? What the heck happened? <laughs> All of my... All of my uh, events that trigger off of um, clear out are all messed up. Oh boy. Okay, well, I will save and then we will figure that out. And she says the same thing. Yeah, alright, so I need a trigger where after the first time she talks, she moves on. Okay, alright. 
after the first time she talks, she moves on to the next thing. Um, we will sell this. And then this. And then buy. And let's buy... And let's buy... 18. We probably won't need more than that. Uh, and then as many... Well, maybe not quite that many. Uh, we won't need a whole lot of adrenaline. And then we have a whole bunch of other things. They're gonna need all of this stuff, though. Yeah, so that's weaker. That's weaker. That's what he's got now. That gives him a plus one... That'll give these two some defense, so we'll buy two of them. That's not as good. That's what they're wearing already. That gives protection from the blind condition, but I don't think... Let's buy two of these. There we go. And then... Sure, let's spend all of our money. All right. So, I'm going to save here. I'm actually going to leave the town and save. What happened to make everybody disappear? Alright. 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 Why did you all just disappear on me? Uh, these doors. Let's check that out first. Uh, control switch, blah, 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 blah. Clear out is on. Oh, maybe that was the problem? Maybe? Let's go, let's go back to the world map. Okay, so if clear out is off, then they'll go to cell, uh, control switch A, which takes them to this map. Uh, this event, which moves them on to Logging Hamlet Rescue. And then Talk NPC switch goes on. Again, it's probably on by default, uh, if I understand that correctly. And this should actually say off. But I'm just going to leave it here. Well, now you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. I'm... I'm still not sure that that's how that works. But evidence has already proven me wrong on that and it will probably continue to do so but let's go back to plugging camp here and check the rest of these all right so the switch needs to be on i suppose Ugh, okay i don't know why they disappeared they should just be there that's so weird to me that they just they just disappeared. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to try two doors and see if they stay. Because that's just weird. Uh, but I do need to go inside the inn. Now, why did you just disappear? You want to spend the night? I don't know. I suppose it's with the risk. Okay, so this will go through the way it goes through. Uh, this needs to be the wait time. And we'll wait 60 seconds and then fade in. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess I could try having the clear out on, but he shouldn't have disappeared. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this one. This door here was a problem. It's locked tight. We'll need a key to go further. Oh, right. I didn't touch the door to trigger this part. We had all the key already. Uh, set movement route. This opens up. I think maybe I want... I want to wait for... No, because it didn't... Hmm. <laughs> let, me, let me open this up and look at it. Player one, step forward. Skip if it can't move. Wait for completion. They did wait for completion. 
The problem was... I don't need them to step forward. The door opens and then they can go through. Right. I don't need them to step forward. Uh, and then control switch B just removes the door after that point because they have it open. All right. Good. They don't need to step forward. Okay. So I need to go back here. No, 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 no. I remember. Uh, store. Here we go. So you need, after this conversation, at which I need to change some of the dialogue here, control switch A. Okay. Right, but I need you to say something when they show up. Uh, let's do clear out on, I suppose. So the first time you talk to her, ooh, well, no. No, 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 because then you'll just completely skip this. I need, I need to skip this after this turn. Control switch A, and then we go to this one. So how do I keep it so that you'll talk to her with the shop? Well, you know what? I also need a piece of dialogue here that, uh, what is her face? Um, I need a piece of dialogue here to bridge the gap between the two. Um, how about back again? Okay. Yeah. Oh, we'll work on that. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll shop that around, see how, uh, we can make that better. But I need to stop this from triggering every time you talk to her. I'll, I'll think of something. I'll think of something. Unless you guys know of a way to do it. I mean, I'm open for suggestions. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, that fixes those issues. I need to know why everything di just disappeared. So, let's go back and try that again. <sighs> Clicked on the... <sighs> Is it going to load? Yes. Boo. Alright, I need to load... See why uh, maybe this fixed it. Maybe turning on the switch on those things fixed it. Okay, let's try this. No, doors are still gone, even with the switch. What about the innkeeper? Still gone. So that didn't fix it. I don't know why he disappeared. I don't know what caused that issue. That's kind of annoying. Kind of really annoying. Alright, alright. So we moved past... Good. Good. Actually, no. I think maybe the problem is the outpost. So I will go back in to the event thing and see if maybe I have a trigger at the entrance to the outpost that is causing these issues. Uh, good. Okay. So, cancel. Alright. So let's go back to the troop. Alright. So hopefully... Also, I just noticed, it just occurred to me, the sound in the town didn't go back to sad, sorrowful music. We stuck with the world map music, so that's going to need to be fixed as well. Uh, yeah, we'll flare. Actually, ooh, because we didn't actually get a chance to rest, did we? Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't actually get a chance to rest. So, let me go, before I even bother to go back here, uh, no, world map, world map. Okay. Sunset test off. I can actually remove that now. Maybe that's what screwed things up. Okay, yeah, cut that out. Move to the outpost, that's fine. Maybe I can actually tint the screen as well for this part. Let's do sunset. How would we tint screen? Uh, let's do night. Sure. I can always make it brighter if I want to. Um, there we go. 
All right, so I don't see anything that resets the map, but that doesn't mean that I don't have some kind of interaction that I'm not aware of. What about this one? Sunset test on. All right, we'll remove that because we don't need to worry about it now. And this one. Right, and from what I've learned last time, oh, well, go back to them. What I learned last time, you can't have the same exit overlapping each other. So we're going to have to have two separate destinations for these two. Edit. Oh, not all the way over there. Right there. Okay. Apply. Good. All right. Uh, and while I'm here and thinking about it, Let's, no, world map, world map, okay. So, if they go to the before, then, oh. No, cancel. Uh, I want to go to the map and make sure Sorrow is playing. Whenever clear out is off, I want to actually delete that. Sunset test is out. And cut. I just want the tint. And, of course, back out on the red a little. Make it not so flame in the sky E And sorrow music. Maybe that was the problem. No, it wasn't the problem. Uh, apply. Okay. Because there should be... The background music should be playing sorrow all the time. So there's... A problem here. The first time you come in, it works fine. You leave and come back, it's not working fine. I wonder if... I've got to go back to the troop outpost. And I've got to go to the second floor. And I've got to look at the boss fight. Control switch D is on. Control switch C. Fight. Control switch A. Clear out is on. Okay, so edit this to go off. But we didn't actually fight. It says if you win the fight, then... So that didn't... That's not right either. Control switch A if you win the fight. Well, that would be this one. Right. And, okay, so why is it not working properly? Also, if the, if the screen is going to tint for this, it's probably going to need to tint for this. And, well, this one should just be tinted, I think. Let me come over here and see what this does. Tint screen, yeah, this should just be dark. It should always just be dark because it's underground. All right. All right. I don't think I fixed anything. I think I just... <laughs> I think I just pruned a few switches that weren't doing anything vestigial at this point and didn't actually fix anything, but let's see. Okay. No. The music's still not back to normal. That's annoying. The doors are still missing, which means the... What's his face? The innkeeper is still missing. Oi. Huh. So what's the problem here? All right. I'm going to go over that. I'm going to add tents to the shop as well so that the player can start resting on the world map without worrying about having to run back to town. Because if they're... If they're going to make it to the second floor of the outpost and then have to retreat and set up... Uh, I don't want to have to have them run back to town to rest and recuperate. Um, but I think tents should be an expensive item so that you don't stock up this early in the game and just go, eh, we don't have to worry about it. I think they should still... It should be a resource you have to manage at this point in the game. Maybe later, you can just be like, eh, well, no big deal now. We can buy as many as we want, but at this point, 
It should definitely be a balancing act between buying gear, buying items for recovery, and buying tents so that you can just crash out anywhere you want. Uh, heal? Or flare? Well, we'll do flare. Yeah, everybody's fine. They got enough health. Hit points, and we'll save our men. Ooh, that was a crit. They are really favoring Solomon. I wonder if it's like a targeting thing or if he's just bad luck. All right, that's good. The problem is these light sources, I, I want them to actually have like a radius of light. So, I know I watched a YouTube video from somebody, whose name escapes me, that there's a way to add, like, light sources. There's even a way to make a light source on your characters. So if you're walking around a map, you have, like, a little radius that you can see on the map. If you make the entire map so dark that you, the player, can't see where everything is, which I will probably implement for a maze at some point, maybe even the pyramid. I just need to um, go back in and do it. Alright. So let's go downstairs. Good. Alright, so it's still dark down here too. But again, not as dark as it could be. These guys should just go in a pattern. Come here. Turn around. Go that way. Where's the other guy? Ah, he's coming. All right. Okay, that's a lock. That's a shut door. I don't think it's locked, unless he has the key. I think he might have the key. But let's go down here first. So I just had this kind of like a cave in, or like a, I don't know, uh, some rubble that. Uh, the previous prisoners were forced to clear out and kind of died here, but I also have a secret hidden here. I wonder if it'll trigger. No, it didn't. Alright, it, it's the same problem I'm having with the signposts at the entrance to towns. Just clicking on it doesn't activate it with the action button, and touching it with the player doesn't activate it either. Wait a minute, what are you doing down here? Oh, you're programmed to hunt... No, he's just randomly walking around. Ah, shoot. Okay, I thought maybe I programmed him to follow the player slowly, but he's just, just random. He just happened to come down here with us. Uh, Foot Soldier. And we'll do... Oh, no mana left. Okay. We'll do... Sure, let's just clear them out one at a time. Okay, and do it again. Actually, I'm gonna have you heal. I think I still have that problem with Elizabeth where she's not healing herself properly. Well, I don't get the chance to check. Great. Looks like a specially designed lock. The jailer lacks the proper key. Perhaps the leader of this rabble has it. Right. I don't know if I want to get into a fight just yet. I need to be able to rest and recuperate, because I'm running low on MP. Uh, so, let's save. Okay. And then exit. Alright. Well, I'm gonna call it here for this episode. I got a few things to suss out, and I don't want to waste your time bashing my head against a wall. So we'll end it here. Uh, until next episode, thank you everyone for joining me. Stay safe, and God bless you.